A support mechanism to an electric pole is very important. This ensures that the infrastructure of the national grid is intact because it is carrying cables or conductors that supply power. For this case, I checked some time back and this pole was intact. But again, there was something that was pressing it, the weight of that cable. Also, the pole itself has been rotten on the base. And that is why it collapsed under its own weight. At this point, the pole is on the ground and the connection is still intact. Electricity infrastructure breakdown occurred due to so many weaknesses that exist in a national grid or on a national power line. For this case here, this is a three-phase drop cable. This drop cable was supplying this plot with power. Now, there is an issue here. It is still intact at the pole, whereby all the three faces are still connected to the respective faces. The neutral is also connected. Now, this pole crashed on the drop cable itself and punctured it. Now the cables here are exposed because the face are damaged, especially at the point whereby we have the insulation. I can see the blue face exposed. And in case the public gets in contact with this scenario here, it might expose them to a lot of risk. The livestock that I spotted around this place that is grazing freely also got my heart skipping a bit. What if they touch the broken cable or urinate on it? That will lead to instant death. It is still live up to this particular point because of the fact that it is connected to the grid which is live. An electrical technician is supposed to give his customer value. Now, you are supposed to observe the drop cable that is dropping from the national grid connection, that means at the pole above there, to the property. If there is any problem that you can be able to spot, ensure that you advise your customer to contact the national grid supplier or Kenya Power and ensure that they fix that. That is how you give value to your customers and you get rewarded. For this case, the electrician was supposed to advise the customer that this pole did not have any support mechanism apart from the cable dropping all the way from the supply to it and then into the property. Therefore, electricians are supposed to enlighten their customers and see danger before it happens and for this reason they can be able to evade issues such as this one now remember before this problem is fixed can actually take a lot of time wooden poles especially on single phase or three phase basically the lv or the low voltage power line are supposed to be taken care of because they serve the customers directly. If these poles are not well treated, they normally rot at the base and therefore the tension created by the conductors will definitely affect them in the manner that these poles will fall to the ground. Again, if at all a vehicle knocks it, it will definitely fall and the problem is that the conductors may clash and anything that is connected to them at that time may suffer a power surge. As an electrical technician, you are supposed to look for these faults and advise your customer. Another mistake that I have noticed with the low voltage distribution power line is that the connection or the point of contact between the drop cable and the low voltage conductors is that it is normally loose. And loose connections, as we know, can bring a lot of issues to the customer. Therefore, as an electrical technician, be checking these issues, advise your customer, and provide them with the solutions 
ASAP. Now, I cannot end this video without talking about the interference of vegetation to the power lines. As an electrical technician, this is also another area that you can really, really be of value to your customer. Advise them to ensure that their trees which may be growing towards the power line is trimmed or cut so that it will not interfere with the power line in future. Behind me, what you can see is a conductor. It is a face conductor and we don't know whether it is live or it is disconnected. Either way, it may pose a serious danger to the members of the public as well as the animals that may get in contact with it. Another issue that I notice is that the conductor which is bare is in contact with the fence. This is one fence line that is touched. Number two, number three, and finally, it is also in contact at this point, all the way to the pole right there, which is made of a wire that can conduct electricity, meaning that if this particular point here, which is in contact with power, supplies current to this particular fence, it is conducting all the way around and anyone that will come in contact with that particular fence on the other end it means that they expose themselves to electric shock which may cause serious burns on their skin or it can even be fatal since two parties are involved here whereby we have kplc or kenya power as well as the various customers that are served by this conductor. One of them has to blink first in order for this situation to be salvaged. If at all is the customer, they will have to cut down these trees or prune them in a manner that Kenya Power will be able to restore their power by reconnecting this face conductor back to its place. If at all, the Kenya power have to respond then they will first of all force these customers or the owners of these particular trees to cut or prune them in order for them to restore power. At the end of the day it is the customer who is suffering but on another angle Kenya power is losing their revenue that they were collecting from the customers connected on this side. Who will blink first remains to be a concern that actually benefits both parties. Reporting for Top Heights Electricals and Electricians, this is John Getty.